Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time. My name is Andrea and I do some makeup looks and fashion and some vlogs so welcome. I invite you to my little community and thank you so much for my 22 subscribers. I'm so happy I got 22 subscribers again. I didn't think I was gonna get two subscribers so to have 22 subscribers so happy and uh, by the way I already got my microphone and I got my gorilla pod so I'm very very excited can't wait to get my camera I'm not waiting till I get 500 subscribers because I did the count and I won't get 500 subscribers until June of 2020 so <laughs> I'm going to my cameras very very soon so hopefully I'll give you better quality and better sound so just wanted to say thank you thank you so much for your support and your love I'm getting comments and thank you again guys so thank you so much for that so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a makeup look for beginners I'm gonna talk about some products that I use and what what and how to use them so if you want to see this video and you want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Alright guys, so the first step after of course you moisturize and prepare your skin, you're going to find a primer. Now, Everyone's skin is different, so you're gonna get the primer that's best for your skin. Some people have oily skin, some people have dry skin, so try to match what's best for your skin. Now the primer is gonna help minimize all the pores that you have. It's also gonna help the foundation last a lot longer and all of your makeup. I'm using the Porefessionals. This is by Benefit. You can get any of this makeup at drugstores or any makeup store, and it could be overwhelming, especially when you're starting but don't let that overwhelm you. Just take your time and just find the products that's best for your face. If you are more on the oily side, you wanna try and get a primer that's more on the matte side. Next, we're gonna go in with the foundation. With the foundation is the same. It's very personal. You get the foundation that it's right for your skin. Obviously, if you have oily skin, you're not gonna go in with a shiny, dewy foundation. What I'm using here is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is an oil-free foundation. It lasts long, it has oil control, so this would be perfect for you if you have oily skin. If you don't have oily skin, then you are fine with any other. We're gonna take the foundation and we're just gonna pump a few pumps the foundation on our face. Okay. I should open the new box that I have. <laughs> Ooh, it's brand new. Look at that. All right. This one's different. What the heck? What is, is that a cap? I don't know. I should blend this. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take the beauty blender to sell low cost ones. A really good one is of the real techniques. Um, in the pharmacy, you get that at Rite Aid or Doing Read. And let me just blend this out. So what you do is I'm just gonna blend it all make sure that the skin absorbs it you can also use a brush for the foundation all right let me just grab more because i'm all there it goes right, so then what you do is just put it on your face like so don't forget your ears and bring the product down to your neck so you don't have Two colors and you have if you have a shirt like mine you could bring some over here you don't have you don't want to put too much but um, just to give it a little bit of color 
All right, guys, so once you have your foundation on, we could move on with the eyes. I'm thinking more of a bluish color just because I'm wearing a white and blue top today. So I'm going to go in with a little blue. Don't let that scare you. We could always fix it if something goes wrong. So I'm thinking that we're going to do this color here. I think that matches good with this um, top. We are going to start first with um beige color something that matches more of your skin color just to blend it out and just to have a base around the eye palettes here i got from bh cosmetics um i've been having them for a while now and they're great the pigmentation on these on these palettes are wonderful and they're called a 120 color palette they're great because they just the color range on this palette is amazing so it brings these colors and then you take this then you take the one on the top and then you also have this so you have lots of choices when it comes to color i'm going to take this color here it's like a beigey pinkish oh, this one right here it looks very pink on camera but it's more like a skin tone they don't come with a name so like a skin tone color so i'm gonna grab a little bit of that and just put it all over your eyelid we're gonna take the brush and we're just gonna sweep it lightly all over back and forth on this side and what this is gonna do is just gonna set a base for the other colors that we're gonna pack right, after that let's go in with a baby blue color just to put on the um the lower part of the eye let's go in with this color right here this is cute with a little flat brush like this we're going to take some of this blue and then very gently you're going to just put this all over your lower lid so after that let's grab a little bit darker of the blue and let's start from the middle out so we're going to do just this motion here, have some more. So we'll start from here and then patting it outwards. Bring the color a little bit up where you feel the um, the little bone here. Does that even have a name? This little, little bone right here. Just bring it up just a little, not too much, just where you feel the little bone. And then from there, we're gonna grab a blending brush, just like this. And we're going to grab brown color because we're gonna soften the whole look up. Let's go in with this color right here. Just little brown color here. And what you're gonna do with this color is you are going from this corner of the outer of your eye and you're gonna sweep it all above where you feel that bone. So we're just gonna be blending this color and the blue together. And what this is gonna do, this is just gonna blend your eye color, the first color with the blue, so it doesn't look so crazy. I don't know. It, so it doesn't look like it's, the blue's coming out at you, if I'm explaining myself. <laughs> so let's grab a little more. Just bring this all in the hollow of your eye. Just blend. The more you blend, the better it is so you don't see any harsh lines. And very softly, you're gonna do this like circle motion. Swiping and then circle motion. And then do the same with this eye. So you're gonna start in this corner right here and then so you can get the feel of it just swipe back and forth and then just leave your hand loosely don't tense up and then just sweep it grab like so if you're grabbing a pencil and you're gonna write but make believe you're just sweeping this is what you're doing <laughs> sweeping back and forth all right guys, with that same blending brush, we're going to grab the darkest color that we're going to use. And that darkest color, we're gonna have it 
placed on the outer cup I'm sorry in the outer corner of our eye in the V shape in the form of a V shape so what we're going to do just grab a thinner pencil so we're gonna do imagine a V here so a V like this right and then once we pack on the color we're gonna blend that together with this light blue here okay so let's take that little blending brush again and we're going to go in with this navy color here so let's grab grab a very small amount because you want to pack up the more you the, the more color you want then you'll keep just adding to your eye so we grab a little bit and then it's form a V let's grab a little more so you just grab little by little take your time again very very light motion and so once you create you feel like you created that V start doing the circular motions again let's start taking that color up like what we did with the brown just without grabbing anymore once you feel like you see the color in the corner of your eye you don't have to go in and grab anymore unless of course you want it more brighter but let's just start grabbing it and then what whatever you have on your brush you could just bring it up this way so circle 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 swipe 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 circle 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 swipe 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 okay and then the more you blend the secret to all this is just blending blending and take it in here and don't worry if it gets too intense you go back with that brown color and just put it on top and the color will will be less intense so for now, let's just leave it like that. Let's do the other color, the other eye. Let's grab some more. A tip, guys, if you feel more comfortable and you don't want this color to just come all the way over here, put a piece of tape. Just put a piece of tape this way and here. And then once you take off the tape, you're gonna see that you're just gonna be, you're just gonna have a line here, just of color. And then you could just blend it out. I'll do that in another video. So let's just blend this. Blend, blend, blend. I'm taking it into the, this corner of the eye here. So I'm just taking the same amount of product. I'm not grabbing anymore. I'm just taking this product that I put here and I'm just swiping it all the way without touching this lower lid here. So I'm just leaving it in the corner, doing the V shape, blending, and then swiping that color in. So let's say you want a little bit of shine, a little bit of glitter in the center here. Let's do that. Let's grab this color here. This is right here. This is very glittery. And what we're going to do, we're going to grab a flat brush, small and flat, and we're going to wet the brush. It could be with water or it could be with a setting spray if you have one. The point is to wet the brush just a little bit. It doesn't have to be you know like soaking wet but just enough to just wet the bristles so after you wet your brush you are going to tap on that and of course start little by little and then pack on as you feel necessary so we're just going to put that on the center just this part right here we're not getting too close to the inner part so just try to stay in the center right here just to give it that shine that glittery so since this is a beginner video I usually use liquid eyeliner but I'm not gonna use that what we're gonna use is a tiny little pencil just like this we could use black eyeshadow and then just create a line all through the lash line so we're gonna grab a little pencil that looks like this super tiny and then we're just gonna grab 
the black shadow. And then for this method, I suggest that you look down towards your mirror. So you're gonna be doing this. And just stroke. Creating a line, take your time with it. Don't rush. All right guys, so after you created the eyeliner with your eyeshadow, let's move in with the eyebrows thank god because these eyebrows are not cute so is the pencil by benefit this is the goof proof brow pencil what i usually do i begin with combing the hairs up just to give an idea where i'm gonna going to fill in my brows we're going to fill them up i like this pencil because it both has the brush and the little pencil on the other side so let's start with the center of the eyebrow and what we're going to do is just very gentle again we're just going to go upward motion just creating the shape you want and filling in any little spaces that you have so when you just create make believe you're creating little hairs And then you start moving towards the front and you're going the direction of the hair once you get to the front of the brow just go very lightly creating like a little line on the bottom very very lightly and then upward And then take the little spoolie, comb your hairs up, and this also distributes the product throughout the eyebrow. Okay. And then just repeat on the other side. Alright guys, for this video I'm going to put false eyelashes. I'm going to curl my eyelashes, any regular lash curler, and what we're going to do is just put the curl the curls what we're gonna do is put the eyelash in between these two little clamps here and we're going to squeeze for like five seconds and then you're just gonna pump them pump 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 and just like try to bring it up a little bit so it goes like this so just like tr try to bring it up like this just pump it for a while five seven pumps Some mascara i'm using the uh, Too faced better than sex mascara you can use any mascara any eyeshadow really any drugstore brand works really well so use what you have you don't have to go crazy spending all your money in safara or ulta or any other places just use the same techniques and with any products that you have so what we're doing now is just putting the mascara and just swiping up if it's difficult for you to put mascara, a little tip is get your product and just place the little wand on your eyelash and just look down. You'll see that your eye will do all the work for you. So just place it here, right? You have your eyeball really open and then just look down automatically your eyelashes are just gonna drag through the brush so but if you're okay then just brush, brush just brush them up and try to go towards like your nose you know do the opposite of what your eyelashes want to do for the lower lashes we're gonna be very gentle we're gonna go back in with the curl lash, but we're gonna let the mascara dry up first. So for the meantime, we're gonna go in with the concealer. And what this is gonna do is just brighten up the center of your face and cover up any imperfections that you think you might have. Like in my case, the dark circles I have under my eye and certain little spots I have. So let's just bring all this product here. 
Let's do a line in the center of the nose. A little bit on our chin and our forehead. Again, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer and we're gonna grab a little spongy and we're just gonna spread this product like so and we're just gonna have this product just in the center this under your eyes I mean <laughs> under your nose your chin all right guys so after you dabbed all that product in we're gonna go in and we're going to do the contour the darkest palette that you have and this is gonna create the shadows just to give it like structure to your face if that making any sense so we're lightly, especially with this palette, this is the BH Cosmetics. So this is the contour and blush palette. This is a very, very pigmented um, blush and bronzer contour. So you're gonna go light. So we're gonna grab a little bit, shake it off a little bit, and we're gonna create a three. Okay, so it's from here, cheekbone, jaw. This is going to create shadows, so it could give you like a very structured face. Just creating this three. See how pigmented this is? This is really pigmented. put a little bit here and then I'll come in here and then just blend it in round round and up you never want to bring the product down always try to bring the product upwards like this and put this towards your hairline see what I mean Guys, if you have a shirt like mine, a little bit of definition, this is what you do. You put your shoulder out and you're gonna put this like on the outside of the bone. So this is the bone, right? You don't see it. You go like this to see your bone. We're creating shadows. So you're gonna put it here and you're gonna put it on top as well. See? See what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes! Collarbone! Hello! So let's do the same on this side. This little hole right here, just a little bit. Just enough to give it like... Like a shadow. Because that's what we want. And then we later on we'll go in with the highlighter and then I'll tell you where to put the highlighter. Let's bring this here. Your neck. If you want a little bit of shoulder, give it a shape. Just like that. And just like this. And the same thing if you have like really cut um really cut shirts and you want cleavage just do this and then do that you also get some cleavage we don't need that today so for the contour of our nose i went to morphe last week and i bought this contour kit i've never tried it i'm gonna try it with the first time with you guys so I think it's awesome because I was looking for little, for brushes like this. Well, this is maybe this is for the blending. And then there's this one here, and then this one. Three brushes were twenty dollars at the Morphe store, um, which which was great. These are cute, and this is like perfect to contour your nose. 
So I'm gonna try it for the first time with you guys. Let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna take this one right here that's nice and flat, very thin. And what we're going to do, or you can grab any brush you have that has like a flat, flat surface, that it's tiny and flat. What you're gonna do is grab a little bit, again, of that dark um, color, just a tiny bit because um, it's too pigmented. So what we're gonna do is just create a straight line. Now, the closer the lines are, the thinner your nose is going to appear. So, I want my nose to be really tiny. So we're going to do... And then you do a tiny little line here, like connecting under like the ball of the nose, like so. I'm going to blend that color down a little bit. So I'm gonna take this fluffy brush here and I'm just gonna bring it down. All right guys, so now let's go in with the blush. You definitely could get any blush that you like. I'm gonna use the same palette of the BH Cosmetics and I'm just gonna grab this little coral color here. I'm just gonna dab a little bit and we're gonna do on top of the uh, contour, just very lightly. Just keep it. With highlights. I am using the Urban Decay uh, Jean Michael and I'm just gonna grab this highlight here. I'm gonna use my finger. You could use a brush if you like. Finger to me works best, it just grabs more product. And what we're gonna do is just on top of the cheekbone here, we're just gonna put a little bit in circular motions. And then you do the same on this cheek right here. And then just swipe it back and forth. We're gonna put a little bit here on top of your eyebrow. And back to the eyebrow. For the nose, we're going to put on the tip right here, and we're going to put right here, that's it. And then just swipe the rest, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. We're gonna put a little bit on the chin, Cupid's bow. You grab some more. And then, remember what I said, on the bone this time. So we created a shadow using the contour. And now we're going to put this shine highlighter on the bone itself. Just like this. Pop it out. Just like this. And then some more in here. And then here. And then you grab some more and just put it on the bow. See what I mean? The difference between this and then this. Pop out your shoulder. <laughs> okay, for the lips. When I was in Morphe, I grabbed this nude lip pencil. It was four dollars. It wasn't crazy. Um, let's see. It's the first time I try it, so let's see. So this is in color Backseat Love. Nude pencil. Let's see what it looks like. Alright guys, for the gloss, I am going to use this Becca lip gloss, but you could use any gloss, of course. Um, and we're gonna go just grab, and we're gonna put it in the center. And let's finish up with some setting spray. If you don't have setting spray, don't worry. But this is just gonna make the makeup last longer. They have setting sprays everywhere also. Look, did a little bit of color. I wish the, I'm on my phone right now, and I wish you guys could see, see like, the colors, oh, I forgot one thing. We have to um, do this again. Let's grab the eyelash again and let's just give a little pump. Just like so. And 
then just like bring them up and that is it so to look you guys i hope you like i hope it was easy enough for you i only used a few products right, guys, so this completes the look i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you on my next video